have to cast on a multiple of eight. Uh, for my hat I need 64 stitches and I'm gonna do the Italian cast on and I'm gonna do it on double point needles because on circular needles mm, the stitches twist a lot and it's very hard to do it in the round or at least for me if you can do it you can if you want to you can do it on circular needles so and if you don't want to do the Italian cast on you can do the long tail cast on just like you do usually so there's no problem but uh, the italian cast on is more flexible more stretchy and it's a different uh, result so let's start uh, you put the yarn like for the long tail cast on here is the um, tail and here is the yarn from the ball and, and the first stitch we're gonna do a purl stitch so we're doing like this pick up the yarn and just pull it towards yourself and now we're gonna do um, a knit stitch and it's like this you go under the first strand of yarn and pick up the second strand and you see it looks even like a knit stitch and then we're gonna do a purl stitch you go under the both strand of yarn on the sec on the first st strand and pick up the second uh, so we alternate this knit stitch and purl stitch knit stitch under the first strand and pick up the second it's easier and purl stitch you go under two strands on the first and pick up the second like this and again under one strand pick up the second under both strands on the first and pick up so since I need 64 stitches uh, uh, divided by four uh, needles, double point needles, uh, I'm gonna do 16 on each needle. And on the first needle I'm gonna do 17 because I need one more stitch for joining the round. So I have seven stitches and I need to have 17 on my first needle. So the last one is a pro stitch, now I need stitch, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's it. Now I take my second double point needle and I'm gonna continue and put it like this over the needle and I'm gonna uh, cast on with my this new needle and we're gonna start with the knitting stitch so one let's make it tighter here two purl stitch three a knit stitch four Purl stitch, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And if you leave it like this, you're just gonna lose this last stitch. So that's why we're gonna just leave it this and we're gonna do the last stitch like this just like you are holding the yarn you go oh, and pick up the loop from your uh, thumb and then pull and it's gonna be like this so now let's see like this on the needles and we're gonna look that 
we have an old twist on the stitches. It's a little bit hard for me to show it to you here because I have small needles and this yarn. But look, I just I see that there's no twist here. You just look at your stitches and you have to see that all the knots are like inwards. Now put the needle like this that you could work with these points and pick up the yarn. I've got a too long tail but it's not a problem. So now we're going to join the round and we're going to do it like this. Slip pearl-wise the stitch from the left needle and pay attention how I the yarn comes from my left uh, my right needle. So on the left needle I have my the first stitch that I cast on. So I slip it pearl-wise on the right needle and then I pass over that last stitch that we did. That's it. And we have joined the round. And now I'm gonna just move my needles that way that this one that I'm knitting with is always on top. So I'm putting them like this. On top. So after I have joined my round, I'm just taking my circular needles because I want to use double point needles only for uh, casting on and I'm going to start knitting with my circular. If you want to, you can stay on double point, there's no problem, It's you're going to do the same thing. So the first round, we're going to knit the first stitch. Sorry for the noise, but it's a little bit messy. Uh, and then we're putting the yarn, uh, the needle under the yarn, and slip the stitch pro-wise, the next stitch, and it's gonna be a slip one yarn over because the yarn over is uh, comes when you put the needle under the yarn. And again, knit one. One yarn over. Knit one. Slip one yarn over. So you repeat that until the end of the round. So here I'm finishing off my uh, the stitches from my second needle. Knit one. hard to show you what I'm doing. So knit one and slip one yarn over. So now I have only two double point needles and the, and the circular needles and I wanted to show you that well, now what I want to do is I want to do that magic loop. So I have half my needles or my stitches right there and half are gonna be right here on the needle and so I just pull the magic loop and now I continue my knitting uh, from this uh, needle just like I had to do knit one slip one yarn over knit one slip one yarn over so you just continue this until the end of the round. So here I have the last two stitches on my double point needles and I'm knitting the first one and slipping yarn over the last one. And there goes my last double point needles. 
and now I don't want to lose my stitches. So we're gonna need some circular needles. So I have to take my little my needle off. So I just, I don't forget that I have here a yarn over, so the yarn goes like this. And now we're gonna pick up the second color. And we're gonna start knitting with the second color. I'm gonna put it over the yarn over. And the second color we're gonna start like this slip one yarn over so pick up the yarn and just slip purlwise the first stitch and the next stitch and yarn over from the previous round oh well, that's a stitch and yarn over and just right there we go stitch yarn over and we're gonna purl them together in brioche that's brioche purl So that's what we have to repeat. Slip one yarn over, brioche pearl. Again, slip one yarn over, brioche pearl. So you just continue until the end of the round. So we finished the row in the second color. I insert the marker so I know where my round starts and pay attention here at the beginning you have to have the yarn over in color uh, 2. If you lost it you just put it over and this row and the, the, the row that we just did is gonna be the repeat for the rib and you're gonna do as many rows as you want the height of the rib uh, to be so you just repeat that second row and this one which is kind of like the first one but there's a slight difference so these two rows you just alternate them and you get that beautiful brioche rib so uh, this is what's the difference between uh, the first row and this one is that we don't just knit the stitch we brioche knit it because we have the yarn over so it's not just a stitch but it's a stitch with yarn over which in brioche is called uh, one stitch is considered considered as one stitch sorry I just don't get it here it is and we brioche knit it so we knit together that stitch and the uh, yarn over so this row we're gonna do brioche knit slip one yarn over the slipping of the stitch again I, it is purl wise as if to purl and the yarn over just comes when you put the yarn the needle under the yarn so brioche knit or knit two stitches together you consider as you want to and slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and I recommend you do you knit tight because if you don't you just or you get um, small needles or you do both if you don't do that when we're gonna do the pattern you just get some big holes maybe two big holes for a hat so you just you'll see how you how you're gonna end up when you're gonna need the, that so you continue this round and the, uh, the round that we just did and uh, after a few rounds you're gonna have like a three centimeters rib or something like that or if you want to you can do it higher or lower depends how you like it more I have made uh, in total 14 uh, rounds of flat brioche 
that means row number two and three that I showed you earlier and now we're gonna do a row of increases so that this rib is gonna be uh, tighter than the rest of the hat where is the pattern so we're gonna do it like that we're gonna start the row normally just brioche knit slip one yarn over and in the uh, second column every second column we're gonna do an increase so brioche knit yarn over brioche knit and just now slip the stitch so instead of one we have three stitches slip one yarn over and again knit brioche knit a column slip one yarn over increase so one normal, one increase, one normal, one increase. I'm going to show you the increase again. Brioche knit, yarn over, brioche knit, and slip the stitch. So you do that for the whole round. After that, you're going to repeat row number two, three, and two again. And then we're going to start the pattern. All the even rows, brioche pearl. Slip one yarn over again, brioche pearl. Slip one yarn over, pearl one. Slip one yarn over. So you just you repeat uh, slip, pearl, slip, pearl. Just it changes just uh, the way you pearl if it's a brioche pearl or just pearl one stitch. So, as I said, brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, pearl, doesn't matter, slip one yarn over. So, just repeat that. Row 19, or the first pattern row. And it's going to be like this. Uh, and we're gonna do a left slant decrease for that we uh, insert the needle knit wise that means as if to knit and the first uh, stitch and yarn over you see uh, slip it to the right needle like this knit wise knit the next stitch uh, slip it to the left needle then pass over the next stitch and yarn over or the next prior stitch uh, slip the stitch to the right needle and then pass over those first slipped stitches and that's it that's why how we get a left slant decrease after that slip one yarn over brioche knit one Slip one yarn over, brioche knit two, slip one yarn over, brioche knit three, slip one yarn over, and here we do an increase. Brioche knit, yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, and that's the whole repeat of the pattern in this row. After each pattern row, you must uh, do uh, an even row in color number two, then a normal row in color one without increases or decreases, and again an even row. In the chart that would be row number two, three, and again number two. And after that you do uh, the, the next pattern row. Row number 23, we're doing again the left slant decrease slip knit wise the first stitch and uh, yarn over knit the next stitch slip it to the left needle pass over the next stitch and yarn over slip the stitch to the right needle and pass over the first slip stitch and yarn over so there you go left slant decrease slip one yarn over brioche knit one slip one yarn over brioche knit two slip one yarn over increase that means you 
do a brioche knit yarn over brioche knit all in the same stitch then slip the stitch from the needle slip one yarn over and the left uh, column that we have in the repeat is uh, brioche knit and slip one yarn over that's the whole repeat you repeat that from the beginning the whole round and as I said you after that you do row number two three two and then the, the next pattern round row number 27 for the decrease as usual we slip the knit, the stitch and the yarn over knit wise knit the next stitch slip it to the left needle pass it over pass over the next stitch and yarn over slip the, the stitch to the right needle and pass over the first stitch and yarn over that we slipped so that's the left slant decrease after that slip one yarn over um, here we just normally need one column slip one yarn over and here we do the increase as you see, as you can see it's a line that we continue so here rows the increase brioche knit yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and brioche knit one slip one yarn over brioche knit two slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat that you have to do in this round after that knit row number two three and two again and and then we'll do the next pattern row row number 31 left slant decrease as always uh, slip knit wise the first brioche stitch knit the next stitch uh, slip the stitch to the left needle pass over the next brioche stitch slip the stitch to the right needle and pass over the first slipped stitch after that slip one yarn over in the next stitch we do the increase brioche knit yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and three normal brioche knit columns one slip one yarn over two slip one yarn over three slip one yarn over and here we go that's the next repeat with the left slant decrease so you repeat that after that you do row number two three and two again and we'll do the next pattern row after that row number 35 The first stitch is going to be an increase. Brioche knit, yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, brioche knit one, slip one yarn over, brioche knit two, slip one yarn over, brioche knit three, slip one yarn over, and the last two brioche columns we're gonna do a right slant decrease slip knit wise the first brioche stitch knit the next stitch um, pass over the slipped stitch slip the stitch to the left needle and pass over the next brioche stitch or the next stitch and yarn over depending how you count it slip the stitch to the right needle after that slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat after you knit uh, the row number two three and two again row number 39 brioche knit yarn over increase that means you brioche knit yarn over brioche knit all in the same stitch slip the stitch now slip one yarn over brioche knit one slip one yarn over brioche knit two slip one yarn over 
and now we do again right slant decrease that means slip knit wise the stitch and the yarn over knit the next stitch uh, pass over the stitch and the yarn over on the right needle slip the stitch to the left needle and pass over the next uh, stitch and yarn over and slip the stitch to the right needle slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat after the row 39 you need uh, the row number two three and two again and after that we're knitting the row number uh, 43 and it's gonna be like that uh, brioche knit slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over uh, increase that means you brioche knit yarn over brioche knit in the same stitch slip the stitch slip one yarn over brioche knit slip one yarn over and now we're gonna do the right slant decrease as I said the first stitch you have to slip it knit wise knit the next stitch pass over the slipped stitch one stitch I mean brioche stitch but in fact that's a stitch and a yarn over after that slip this stitch to the left needle and pass over the next stitch and yarn over slip the stitch to the right needle slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat after that knit a row two three and two again and we'll do the the last pattern row row number 47 the last pattern row brioche knit one slip one yarn over brioche knit two slip one yarn over brioche knit three slip one yarn over increase that means you do brioche knit yarn over brioche knit and slip the stitch uh, slip one yarn over and here we do the right slant decrease slip the stitch and the yarn over knit wise knit the next stitch pass over the, the stitch and the yarn over from the left needle over the over the stitch and uh, slip the stitch to the left needle pass over the stitch and the yarn over and slip the stitch to the right needle slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat so after that you need row number two three and two again and then you can uh, begin the pattern from the row 19 that's the the pattern that you have to repeat rows 19 to 50. so here i repeated uh, two times the pattern and i have that flat brioche rib that we did at the beginning so in total that's 17 centimeters and after that and in rows that would be uh 82 rows now i'm row 83 and uh, now we're gonna like begin the pattern from uh, the row um, 19 but we're not gonna do the increases only the decreases so every every row we do the decrease and, uh, and the other difference is that we won't uh, do that uh, knit row in between between the purl rows so we do only uh, the pattern row and then the purl row again the pattern and the purl until now we did like four rows to get to the next one the next pattern one we did pattern purl knit purl now we're gonna do just pattern purl pattern purl I don't know if you get it if you don't just look at the chart maybe it's more clear like that so 
I'm gonna show you what I just said. We're gonna, it's row 83 and we're gonna just, we're gonna begin, begin the pattern from row 19, but we're gonna do only the decreases. So we're gonna do decrease, uh, left slant decrease. And slip the stitches knit wise, knit the next one, slip it to the re uh, left needle, pass over the stitch, slip the stitch to the right needle, and pass over the next stitch. So that's a left slant decrease. After that, slip one yarn over, brioche knit one, slip one yarn over, brioche knit two, slip one yarn over, brioche knit three, slip one yarn over, brioche knit four, slip one yarn over, and that's the whole repeat. We get to this uh, part where we are gonna do the decrease again. So that's what you repeat. Uh, left slant decrease and then four columns of um, brioche knit. The row 84 is like all even um, rows in color number two and now row 85 we're gonna do just like 83 but um, oh sorry we do the decrease the left slant decrease but uh, the difference is that in this row we're gonna after the decrease we're gonna need not four columns but only three every row is gonna be less and less stitches less and less columns so uh, decrease after that slip one yarn over brioche knit one slip one yarn over brioche knit two slip one yarn over brioche knit three slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat. Here we do again the decrease. Row 87. Slip the first stitch and yarn over. And knit wise. Knit the next one. Slip it to the left needle. Pass over the stitch and the yarn over. Slip the stitch purl wise to the right needle. And pass over the stitch and the yarn over that we slipped earlier. So the left slant decrease, slip one yarn over, brioche knit one, slip one yarn over, brioche knit two, slip one yarn over, and that's the whole repeat. Here we have to do again the decrease. So finish this row and round, and uh, then do the um, rounding color two when we purl the stitches. Row 89. We have to do the decrease and then a brioche knit column. So slip the stitch and the yarn over knit wise, knit the next stitch, slip the stitch to the left needle, pass over the stitch and the yarn over, slip the stitch purlwise to the right needle, pass over the stitch and the yarn over, and that's the left slant decrease. Slip one yarn over brioche knit one, slip one yarn over and that's the whole repeat and you just repeat this and you get less and less stitches on the needles. Row 91. In this row we're gonna do only left slant decreases. So slip the stitch, the brioche stitch knit wise, knit the next stitch, slip the stitch to the left needle, pass over the stitch and the yarn over, slip the stitch to the right needle and pass over the stitch and the yarn over. That's left slant decrease. After that slip one yarn over and again the other left slant decrease. Slip the stitch knitwise, knit the next one, slip purlwise Knitwise is only the first time you do the decrease, the first time you slip when doing the decrease. So after that and every, everywhere else 
is purl wise. Pass over the stitch, slip purl wise, and pass over the stitch. Slip on your over and again and again you do decrease slip on your over. That's the whole repeat on this row. After the round 92, I have 16 brioche stitches on my needles. Brioche, that means uh, that uh, um, a stitch and a yarn over counts, counts as one stitch. So 16 stitches, 2 stitches uh, from each repeat. Since we, I did uh, 8 repeats, I have 16 stitches. Maybe you can have more, but that it doesn't matter. Uh, that's how we, we're gonna do the casting off. We're gonna need the first brioche stitch, brioche knitted. So with the first stitch and the yarn over, we just knit it. Uh, pass, uh, slip the stitch to the left needle, and then we're gonna pass over all the stitches, all the next stitches. So you can do it like this with your needles, or you can do it with the hook. The crochet hook. I'm gonna show you like this, and so here are my last few stitches. And continue to pass over the stitches. After you passed over all the stitches, you make a big loop out of the. That's that last stitch and enough big enough to pass over the, the yarn and then you just tie it off and make a knot and after that you just weave in the all the strands of yarn all the colors and that's what we have this nice hat in brioche technique. Usually when working brioche in the round everyone alternates only two rows. In color one that's the pattern row and then in color two the pearl row. Uh, I tried to do that and as you can see in the lower part of this photo um, that's the hat that I began to do this way only two rows alternating and I didn't really like it because all the columns are brought together and you don't really see the pattern or I don't know it looks different so and in the low in the higher part you can see the scarf that I did uh, my way I mean I alternate four rows uh, the pattern row and then the pearl row in color two and then a, uh, a knit row in color one and again a pearl row in color two so you can try to do only alternating only two rows and you can see which one you like better and uh, the instructions would be the same only the number of the rounds would be different so don't be scared try it try it and maybe you'll like it this way more if you are using a uh, different yarn or maybe i don't know bigger size of needles and you um, with two repeats of the pattern the hat is too long um, you can do only uh, one and a half repeat of the pattern and that's how it would look for you you do one repeat then again a half a repeat and since you're doing only half you're gonna um, do um, the ending in the different direction uh, you're gonna but still you're you're gonna do the same thing you're just gonna decrease every time but you're gonna do the right slant decrease instead of the left slant decrease that I do in my instructions so don't be scared if you if, if you did one repeat, one and a half repeat, and you see that it's quite enough, just begin to end it and do 
only the decreases in the next rows.